Hey. Oh, how's it going? How are you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm good. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just counting the time for the 2020 Line Dots lineup release video. Oh, really? How much time do we have left? It's four, three, two, one. It's right now! <laughs> We put in so much work into this lineup so we could provide everyone with a perfect board that really speaks to them. The deck, trucks, wheels, bearings, everything is made to work together to be the best possible setup. So much attention to detail, but it's all worth it when you love what's under your feet. Well, like last year, we've organized all of our boards into five different categories. Those categories are cruisers, longboards, ATV series, downhill and free ride, and freestyle and dancing. Let's start with one of the biggest categories this year, cruiser boards. Cruisers are compact boards perfect for everyday riding. For doing things like going to the store, carving, doing tricks, and for some people, getting gnarly. This year we have over 25 different graphics and even a few new shapes. We worked with a ton of different artists this year to come up with some really cool designs. We have one of our all-time favorites, the dinghy, with some awesome designs, like this crown peak graphic with these beautiful mountains. There's also the watercolor dinghy. It's got thinner wood veneers and a layer of fiberglass on the bottom to give it a nice stiff feeling. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Alex! <laughs> it's so funny. I can't. Along with the relay, we have the BK dinghy and their unique dinghy shape with a fun square tail and a very sexy squared off nose. Check out Alex sporting the BK t-shirt. It's 100% organic and it's made in the USA, ultra soft and comfortable. It's so soft. It sounds soft. That's the sound of softness. Yeah, it is. A new dinghy shape this year is the Dinghy Blunt, available in four different graphics. With one 30 millimeter polar bears and 60 millimeter chubby hogs, the shape is kind of like if the dinghy and the tugboat had a love child. It would be the Blunt. Another new shape is the Dinghy Coffin. Hey guys, Vera here. Super hyped on the new Dinghy Coffin shape. Unique kick tail and nose. Great for slides, tricks, and any other mischief you like to get into. The dinghy engraving comes with an 1800s wooden cut graphic from Madagascar. Did you hear something? Turbo dinghy! This year, we turboed up the dinghy turbo with some big ass black plow kings. Turbo dinghy! This thing's also got Nice layer of fiberglass on the bottom. And some real good wheel flares too. <laughs> Turbo! This thing is perfect for rough ground, rocks, cracks, anything that gets in your way. Turbo right through it. Turbo! New tugboat graphics. I had a lot of fun riding the tugboat wolf. And if you're a cat person, check out the Meow with Juana. Artwork is by a Seattle-based painter, Casey Walden. It's my favorite type of kitty. The UV bangle tugboat is still blowing my mind. It changes color in the sun. This artwork is done by Benet Rollman. He's done a ton of artwork with us the past few seasons. Two new graphics for the dugout that are very fun to ride. Also, the Revival Schooner is back alongside the Schooner Swell with a graphic done by artist and musician Monster Rally. We've been using Monster Rally's music in our videos for years, so it's nice to finally have his artwork on three of our boards. Let's move on to one of my favorite categories, and that's the longboard category. Some of the most fun you'll have riding is on a longboard. We'll take you to places you wouldn't normally go. They're flexy and carvy, but because of their length, they're super easy to ride. 
Whether it's a scenic flat road or an epic hill, you can never go wrong choosing a longboard. <laughs> Skate and explore! Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> oh. We have the absolute classic battle axe with two very cool graphics. The drop through mounting makes this a perfect board for beginners, but also experienced riders will love the lively feel from the flex. Take this board down any hill, and you'll instantly find out why it's been in the lineup for so long. Carvey, Surfy, everything you need in this space rock machine. We have another longtime favorite, the Totem, with a very fun graphic. We also have a new board from last year that is now an all time favorite for a lot of riders on the team the Ripper and the Super Chief, each available in two different graphics. These boards are unbelievably fun due to their snappy flex and traditional kingpin trucks that most longboards don't have. Best board ever? You be the judge. Cool graphic. This board's really carvy, really fun. I had some good times on this thing, and it's just uh, a good old reliable A to B with also some good excitement to it. Super carvy, super snappy. You can also pull off some pretty nice dance moves on it, like some cross step and some Peter Pans. Dropcat is back again with a new graphic, but last year's graphic is also still available. Tons of rocker lock you in, making the board incredibly fun to ride. Okay, so we have them available in two sizes, 38 and 33. The artwork is done by David Hale from Athens, Georgia, who's done eight boards with us since 2015, and that includes the drop carve. The Drop Carve is a flexi board with twin kicktails and drop through mounting for stability. This board ain't nothing but a good time. Can we do a very serious pose? Is yes. this serious? Like this. No smiling. Everyone loved the Drop Hammer so much last year that we brought it back again. Gotta love pine cones. You know, Alex, hmm. something I've been noticing about all the long boards this year are these trucks. They're very different from last year. So, what's, what's up with that? Well, you're right, Carla. These are a brand new reverse kingpin truck from Bear. So, to learn more, we're gonna bring in the bad boy himself, product developer, Nick Breton. Hey guys, Nick Breton, happy to be here. To tell you about the new Gen 6 Bear Grizzlies. They're completely redesigned from the ground up. New bushing seats, new bushings, better materials. They're lighter, stronger, the best Grizzlies we've ever made. Whether you're carving around, bombing hills, dancing, or to sell with your friends, you're gonna like the new and improved features of these trucks. We've designed the new Grizzlies with multiple base plate angles and multiple hanger widths. They're 30, 40, and 50 degree base plates, as well as 130, 155, and 180 millimeter hangers. We've totally redesigned the bushing seat to be open and free turning, and we've paired it with a stepped insert bushing, allowing deep carves, but no slop through the entirety of the turn. Not only have we improved the ride, but taking note from our Kodiaks, we've improved the look of these trucks to keep you looking fresh. The Gen 6 Grizzlies come stock on all 2020 completes that come with reverse kingpin trucks and will soon be available in multiple colors. Keep your eyes peeled for later in the season for these hollowed out hangers with titanium axles for lighter, better performance. Maybe my head's too round. It is, but it's okay. Now for one of the most exciting categories in the lineup, the ATV series. These are for people that want a board that can do everything, tricks, cruising, slides, and even a little bit of hill bombing. The ATV series is for skating anything. This year we've added the ATV X construction to a bunch of the boards to make them stronger, stiffer, pop higher, and last longer. This is all possible using two layers of fiberglass, one on top and one near the bottom. We've used epoxy instead of glue, and we've used thinner wood layers to offset the weight from the fiberglass and epoxy. The result is an amazing feeling board that will stay stiffer for longer. The Ditch Life, Classic and Perfecto all feature the ATV X construction. Let's start with the Ditch Life, which is available in two different graphics. One of which is designed by team writer Mackenzie Yoshida. Beautiful blue finish with an image that reflects Max home of Hawaii. We also have this very sleek black on black Night Fox for someone who prefers a darker look. Great if you're into skating ditches or want a board with an old school look but a modern feel. The other two boards featuring ATVX are the Perfecto and the Classic. I really do like these gold flakes on the board. They're kind of just everywhere all over the place, just kind of subtle. But if you catch them in the right light, they really stand out. And I really like how they're even in the wheel well. So that's a nice little detail. Let's get Team Rider and Street Shredder Cam McGregor in here to tell us what he thinks about the new ATVX. All 
Ready? Yeah. Okay, word. So, the new ATV boards, I've been skating them all summer. And basically, it's like skating with cheat codes on. Boards don't really chip at all, and like, it's got crazy pop. And it kind of just like, flips itself. It's crazy control. They're dope. This year, we switched out the Chubby Hops for a brand new wheel called the Lil Easies. Lil Easies are like a smaller version of our Easy Hogs wheels. They're 60 millimeters, 78A, so they keep the weight and size of the board down to make tricks easier, and the soft durometer make rough pavement way more manageable. Not to mention how nice and smooth they slide. Right, Alex? You bet, Carla. One of my favorite boards, the Rally Cat, is returning with two fresh new graphics. I just can't decide which graphic I like better. And this is the one I used in LA. The shape of the board has received a nice facelift this year. It's got a slimmer overall width and a bigger nose. The rocker keeps you low to the ground for easy pushing, and the board also has a really nice locked in feel to make slides much easier. I think this year's Rally Cat is better than ever. Returning yet again is one of our widest boards in the lineup, the Gordito. It's a big board. The graphic was done by artist Bear25, who has done several other graphics for us this year. We also have the ATV Crane, returning this year with a nice purple tint. Oh yeah, it's got, it's got this really cool engraving here. Look at it. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Don't forget about Steven Vera's Sidewalker, available in all wood construction and holotech. Wheel wells, great nose and tail, this thing slays anything you put in its way. I mean, just watch Vera ride and you'll understand. Alex? Yeah? Don't you think Steve and Vera should be talking about this board since he's the one that designed it? Yes, I do. Hmm. Where did he even go? Where I is that guy? Don't know. Like, I think you guys pretty much covered everything. I'll let you two keep doing your thing. See you guys in the future. <laughs> what a mystery that man is. Nothing like him. <laughs> Speaking of things that are like nothing else, let's get into the downhill free ride category. Right, hey, drive us to the top. Oh. Let's start things off with these beautiful switchblades with artwork by the talented Vancouver artist, Laura Bufano, who also did the Dingy Crown Peak. These are paintings of actual BC mountains that are very close to the Lanyard's headquarters. They are also reminiscent of the scenery where this board could be ridden. Very stable for going down hills, and the drop platform locks you in to make sliding nice and easy. Not only is the switchblade great for free riding and downhill, but it's also great for beginners learning how to push and cruise because of how stable and low to the ground it is. Next up we have the Lanyard Classic, the Evo. Available in two sizes, 36 and 40. You may recognize the artwork from the Board of Day program we launched last summer with Turnco, aka Skip Marcotte. The Evo steers from the front like a car because of the wedge and D-wedge, so that gives you more grip in the corners. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter's Gambler is still rolling strong in the lineup. We love the graphics so much, so why change it? And that wraps it up for the downhill and free ride category. No, you forgot about the cheese grater. I did. You can never forget about the cheese no. grater. At least I can't. No, I know. I talk about it every day. You really do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Look at that cave. That sexy cave. And then the bottom is just as nice. It's got all these details. Every single cut is in the right place for the right reason on this thing. It's pretty nice. I love this board, especially the changes we made last summer. Smaller than the original, lots of wheelbase options. If I could only ride one board for the rest of my life, it would be this one. Brand new this year is a very special subcategory of downhill that we've dubbed the race category. These boards are designed for people who want to step up their downhill control to the next level. Small boards that run narrow trucks to give you extra turning at high speeds. The Obsidian, designed by DH legend Kyle Martin, features a very small amount of concave, flush mounting, and a layer of carbon fiber on the top and bottom. This is a very unique board. Obsidian. The other board is Dexter Manning's Small Blind. 
It's even smaller than Kyle's board, but features a lot more concave and no flush mounting with a layer of carbon fiber on the top and the bottom. We also have another board releasing soon that is designed by new Land Yachts team rider, Dane Hanna. Let's get Dane Hanna in here to talk about his new board. Okay, hi guys. I'm here with uh, El Peligro here. Designed it with Aaron. Um, it's pretty sweet. I got uh, a lot of grip out of this thing with the short wheelbase. And we got flush mounts on here for a little bit of lowness and some stability here. I actually ended up uh, making a little bit of wheel flares on the front to lock you in. It really helps with your heel sides. Uh, I noticed the circuit last year, there's some pretty rough tracks and my front foot was sliding right off. We got some nice rocker here. That also adds some stability when you got a nice short board. Super stoked to race it this season. Well, hopefully I can beat all the boys down the hill. These boards are designed to be run with our new precision truck, the Smokey. This is a throwback to our first precision truck that we made many moons ago. Let's get Nick Breton back in here to talk about the new trucks. Bear has more coming your way for 2020 with the new Smokey downhill slalom trucks. These come in 20 and 45 degrees as rears and fronts for your downhill setups. They're both split axle with rake with different offsets from the kingpin to optimize your setup. Made with aircraft grade aluminum and titanium axles and kingpins, these are strong, light, and versatile for any downhill setup. They include venom bushings for the best turning, as well as insert spacers to make sure there's no slop at all. Smokies are back for 2020. Along with the new trucks, we have two brand new downhill wheels called the Cheetos. Let's bring Nick back again to talk about the new wheels. Carla, no! Sticking with our racing lineage, Hogs is releasing a new race wheel that's going to blow everyone out of the water this year. 77mm Cheetahs. They come in two options as far as single or dual duro, and the dual duros come in two options of inner core durometer. In the single durometer option, they come in 76A and are the fastest single cast wheel we've ever made. In the dual durometer option, you have the versatility of tailoring the durometer of your core to the course you're riding to tailor it for the conditions of the road, the amounts of turns, the amounts of drag racing you're doing. The profiled hard durometer core reduces pressure over the bearing seat, increasing your speed and reducing your rolling resistance while supporting the lips for high energy return out of corners. Countless amounts of time have been spent developing these setups by our riders, engineers, and product developers. Look for them on the podium this summer. Now for our final and my personal favorite category, the freestyle and dancing. This year's dance category has some very nice designs. I can't get over how trippy the Stratisfaction Holofoil looks. I love it too, and it's available in 46 and 40 inches. But what I'm most excited about is the all new Tony Danza that I've just been falling in love with. Now Carla, I heard you had a big part in designing this board. That's right, Alex, I did. Wow, mm. I'm impressed. It's a complete redesign of the Stratus with a very nice nose and tail. The shape makes it a great dancer board, and to top it all off, we have this very flashy graphic that's just gonna catch all of the eyes. All of them. Wow, it does look really cool. I heard there's also a limited supply of gold ones, so mm -hmm. you better act fast before they're all gone. Mm -hmm. Another cool thing about the Tony Danza is that it's narrower than the Stratus, so it works great for people with smaller feet, like me. Wow. And for all of you Holotech fans, don't worry, because we still have the Stratus 46 available in Holotech with this amazing graphic that really shows off the hollow construction. Wow, wow, oh my god, wow! You're not talking. I just, I can't do it without talking. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of boards. I think we got it all. I'm pretty sure we got everything. Yeah. But if we missed anything, it's all there on landyachts.com or you could visit your local skate shop. All right, what do we do now? Exploding high five. Exploding high five! Yeah. Are you still filming? Yeah. <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. Are you still filming? Yeah. Are you filming? Are you filming? All right. Is it filming? Yeah. Are you filming? Okay, just keep it filming. <laughs> just give me a sec. You're right. Are you filming? Yeah. Still filming? Yeah. Oh, are you filming? Yeah. Okay, you filming? Okay, you rolling? Yeah. Are you guys filming? Yeah. Is this on camera? You you filming? <laughs> are you filming? Are you still filming? <laughs> nice. Are we filming? Yeah. Are we filming? Uh, yeah, we're filming. <laughs> we're on camera. 